Hello and welcome to Steph Into Christmas and here is my first indie brand in my 12 indie brands of Christmas and today as you'll have seen by the title it is Milan Row Makeup this is the outer box for the palette it's a collaboration with Doodles by the Bunny who is just an amazingly talented lady um, I've been following her on Instagram for such a long time she designs palettes or redesigns um, oh she's amazing I will make sure to have her Instagram linked in the description box below uh, if you don't know who she is please 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 go check her out because you will not be disappointed so finally there was a brand that could see how amazingly talented she is and they've clapped with her and this is the poison ivy palette any of you that know me will know instantly that this is me in a palette this is just such a beautiful palette i will now show you the inside and this is a color story it is perfect it is such a a beautiful color story but I'm not going to give anything else away so if you would like to see how I created this look and hear my first impressions of the poison ivy palette then just keep on watching okay guys so I have primed my eyes with the P Louise base pro in room 02 I love this and I am currently trying out this Revolution Cosmetic Tape. Um, I think I look really funny right now. Um, but yes, so this is what it is. Um, I'm loving the fact that it's like the lead up to Christmas. I'm so excited. Um, right, what am I going to go in with first? Okay, so the first colour I'm going in with is Not Today Batman which is the deepest shade in here I love the names in here and what I'm doing is just marking out marking out the shape that I'm wanting so obviously you guys will have seen this so yeah I hadn't heard of Moulin Rouge before this uh, this collab, I've been following Doodles by the Bunny for a long time. Um, I knew it was just a matter of time before one of the brands had to notice how amazing her, like the palettes she was designing were. Um, just the most amazing colour stories. And obviously this one really caught my eye. Um, because if you are not new, you will know green is my favourite colour to to use. It's just my favourite colour. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have no idea what's going on with my phone. Okay, so this is the shape I am wanting. So yeah, um, Milan Rowe is a vegan and cruelty free brand, which I very much appreciate. It's so hard to uh, to do this. Uh, <laughs> it is so hard to do this and talk at the same time. So I might fast forward through this. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Or the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. Oh, okay, so now I'm going to go into Calamine which is the lightest matte like a almost mint green and i'm taking that on a peaches and cream pc22 i love this brush 
and then I'm going to use that to just blend out this edges this is nice and it is showing up I'm wondering if I should have plumped a, a mid-toned shade in there. Mm. Let me... Okay, we're going to sidestep slightly. And I am going to take a little bit of... Kerkwistle, is it? I don't know what that is or how you say that. Okay. So I'm just taking that on the Morphe M149 and I'm going to use that. Yeah, that's better. I needed a, an in-betweeny shade. It's nearly Christmas and I promise this will go Christmassy. I think this is just one of the most perfect palettes for me for Christmas because green and gold and there's also kind of like a I'd say ready brown more ready um which also well as you can see by my Christmas headband which will be featured throughout the whole of December this will come together this side once I add the Calamine. Oh, I I'm loving how this is looking. So I'm gonna quickly do the cut crease. Um, I will be using. Should I use both? I'm going to be using the P. Louise Crisp Finish Sweet and Sour green one so I will get this on and then I will come back to continue with the eye look so don't go anywhere okay so I've got the uh, crisp finish in the shade sweet and sour on um, I'm loving it I'm just gonna make sure it's all kind of flattened down This is such a beautiful colour. I just thought it was the perfect choice for a Christmas makeup look. Um, I've got this Lois Cosmetics Easy Rain um, Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Throne. So I'm just going to pop a line of that. I can find a brush. Let's get the smallest one. Shall we? No, let's get that one. Okay, so... So I'm just going to pop a bit of this on the back of my hand, well, on my hand, and just using one of the liner brushes from Makeup by Tammy, it is the 001, and I love these brushes, they are absolutely amazing, so... So I'm just going to, just with the brush that I used, this is the one that came with it, it is a water treat my base brush is, uh, hashtag 7072. I just want to quickly dab over, make sure there's no creasing or anything. It's the first time I've used one of these crisp paints, crisp finish things. So I'm um, rather, rather excited to try it. Okay, so for the outer part, I'm going to first go into Not Today Batman. I'm just going to take that on a Spectrum A16. And I'm just going to use that 
to go along. Um, I'm really enjoying this palette so far. It is so pretty. And these shadows are so pigmented and just beautiful. There is fallout underneath, but that is going to be easily cleaned up. I really am loving how this is looking. And I love how over the green base, oh, the shade is just popping. Yeah, there is rather a lot of fallout, but I am literally packing the brush and then patting it on. That's so nice. Right, let's find a little one. Okay, so I'm going to take this little is it Zoeva? Zoeva 237 detail shader and I'm going to put that away because I don't need that. Um, I'm going to go in with Don't Be Rash. I'm trying to use a few shades. I think this is going to go pretty well and just patting it gently into uh not today batman oh how could i forget that one i will go back and do it the other way also but this is definitely looking good Okay, these are super pigmented and so easy to work with. It is unreal. I am thoroughly enjoying playing with this palette and I'm so, so happy for, is it Angela? Doodles by the Bunny. I'm so happy that she actually got noticed by a brand and I want to thank her because actually it has brought Milan Rowe to my attention because I'd never heard of them before. Uh, I had a look on the website and they've got some uh, selection of liquid lipsticks that look really nice. Cashmere liquid lipsticks I think it says. And they do look really nice. And there is another palette. So I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on this brand especially after trying this this formula is beautiful absolutely beautiful okay and then just back in with the brush I used for not today Batman I'm just gonna tap that into don't be rash so shimmer time and am I just going to no I am going to um so I am first going into Ivy League which is the green shimmer there I'm taking that on a Artitude Cosmetics flat brush make sure I go into the right one now <laughs> I'm a nightmare I'm desperately trying to use as many of these shades as I can. I, I am loving this. Okay, so I've cleaned up a little bit and now I'm going in with another one of Artitude Cosmetics flat brushes, just a smaller one. And I'm going into... Ivy and this looks so pretty I 
you need a bigger brush okay so i'm just taking this what are you i think it's a luxy brush but i can't read anything i haven't got my glasses on but i'm pretty sure it is luxy and that's better this shade is stunning it screams christmas oh okay Oh, I am having so much fun with this and I'm so excited that I'm doing a, a Christmas look. It is that time of year. I, just, I love it. I just enjoy spending time with my family and I'm getting this all over my Christmas t-shirt okay now that is that is super super pretty so I think now hang on let me use the diddy brush a second so I want to take that sparkle just a bit further along kind of join it over here oh yes and I'm just going to nip back into Ivy League, the green. And just make sure that we haven't kind of lost that. I am pretty sure that this is a, at least a duo crown. It's definitely got a shift to it, this one. And I am loving it. Okay, and then I'm just taking a little Morphe brush. It doesn't have a name or number. And I'm going to dip into the Not Today Batman, the deeper blue matte. And I'm just going to kind of bring that back a bit and smudge out this edge a little bit. Oh, do you know what? I'm I'm going to have to go in with some glitter. I'm going to have to. So this one here, Vine, I am going to just take on my finger and I'm going to tap it over. Oh, loving the extra sparkle. So... I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I'll be back to show you the finished look, have a chat with you about, well, let you know what my first thoughts are on the Poison Ivy palette. And yeah, if you want to see that, hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so I'm back with the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Um... It's a green colour story. I could only really do green. But it's very Christmassy too. Um, so before we talk about the palette, I do want to let you know that everything else that I have popped on my face will be listed in the description box below. Um, I will also have the Milan Row Makeup website linked in the description box below so that you can go and check that out should you wish to. So, this palette. So this is the outer box and it's got Doodles by the Bunny, X Milan Row. Um, I like it. It's kind of that mottly, mottly pattern. I'm terrible at explaining things. Um, the writing is raised slightly. Um, it's just beautiful. And the outer packaging of the palette itself oh my word from a green lover oh, i think this has to be my favorite green packaging ever it is so beautiful i love that this is all it's got glitter in it but it's not glitter that comes off like when you rub it it's just like within 
stuff stuck on you've got the little ivy leaves and they are smooth um beautiful um i believe that poison ivy is a reference to some kind of i want to say like superhero super villain i'm not sure um but yes i love this packaging and then this is the inside beautiful color story absolutely gorgeous um i used a few of the mats a few of the shimmers uh one of the glitters oh my god it was just all amazing they are so beautiful so beautiful um ah i did go <laughs> i nearly forgot about my under eyes so i went in with some of not today batman and then a bit of Don't Be Rash. And then I blended out with Allergy Season. And then, what did I pop on the... I popped some pistachio. And then I went in on the inner corner and blended down into it with Ivy. And I'm just super impressed with the quality. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it for two reasons. The obvious one it's green um but also i have been following doodles by the bunny um her instagram for such a long time and she just designs the most beautiful just amazing palettes like the color stories are just better than the ones the brands bring out themselves usually um she'll, quite often she'll do um, like Urban Decay ones or Colourpop ones and I I have been waiting for a long time for a brand to actually see that she's they should really be bringing her in to help them out um, but yes so luckily Milan Row Makeup has done that and yes this colour story is perfect absolutely perfect I literally would not change a thing not a thing the packaging the formula the color story i love everything about this it is beautiful um so yes i think you now know what i think of the poison ivy palette um so yes i'm gonna wrap things up if you've liked this please do give it a like thumbs up because that really helps me out um if you are not subscribed already i'd really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button and join us along for the ride if you like colorful makeup um you love supporting indie brands you love to find cruelty free indie brands then yeah my channel is the place to be so thank you so much for joining me today i hope you're all having a great day a great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon goodbye